Yeah, Jack Royer joins us now live on Clearwater Beach. What an afternoon, Jack. Josh, Stacy, no kidding. Things are back to normal now, but this all began around midday when a beachgoer alerted a lifeguard to the injured, stranded dolphin. It happened right here underneath Pier 60, where folks are back playing in the water this afternoon after quite the activity. Take a look at what happened all day today. Folks from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium spent hours trying to first untangle the juvenile dolphin before attempting multiple times to release it back into the water. They tell us they're not sure of the dolphin's exact age, but they say it is young enough to need its mother because it can't swim on its own. So after several unsuccessful attempts to reunite it with its mom, they decided to bring it out of the water. People who watched them do just that told us it was a pretty emotional moment. Yes, I wanted to cry. <laughs> I wanted to cry for the mama, you know, like it was really precious. It was very emotional. Everybody was cheering and all excited and big crowd for the little baby. The dolphin was loaded into a truck taken to SeaWorld. Now it will be up to veterinarians and others to help evaluate if it can be released back into the wild eventually or if it will live in captivity, really what happens next. They did take this opportunity, leaders did, to remind fishermen to be careful cleaning up after you go out so that crab lines like this don't create problems like this in the future. Josh, Stacy, back to you. Yeah, that's a good point. Jack Royer, live for us on Clearwater Beach. Thanks, Jack.